What? Oh, this? Oh, it's nothing. It's, it's such a long story. I promise I will never do that ever again. <laughs> Am I sunburned? I feel like I'm sunburned because I went like skiing or something, which is weird because like I don't ski and now I'm like all red. I don't know. I just wanted to make a quick video um, regarding some advice for people that wanted to try out for The Voice. Um, I don't really know if anyone that wants to try out for The Voice is going to be watching my videos, <laughs> so hopefully at least one of you is somewhat interested in what I have to say about this. I know that when I was getting ready to audition, I actually went on YouTube and I found a lot of these videos of people just giving their advice and their experiences. Ever since my audition aired, a lot of people have been contacting me asking for advice because they wanted to audition or they were planning on auditioning or they auditioned, they didn't make it, and they want to try again. So I basically just wanted to make a little video for all of you guys that had questions and just have everything here in this video. So any kind of audition, whether it's open call or the actual blind audition, you're gonna be nervous. And so a lot of people have asked me, how do you deal with nerves? What are some tips for trying to stay calm in the moment? My best tip for nerves is to lower your expectations for how the performance will go. <laughs> I like to go into a performance with low expectations so that no matter how good or average I do, I'm still surpassing my expectations. <laughs> for the blind audition and for the auditions before, I would always get super nervous right before singing my song. And then once I got into the song, I was like, oh yeah, I know the song, I know it forwards and backwards and upside down, I know it so well that I just, there was no reason to be nervous. So that was on nerves. Um, just a little piece of what goes on. Um, overall, when it comes to auditioning, my biggest, biggest piece of advice is just to enjoy the experience. Um, if it's just your very first open call, um, don't think about the results. Don't think about, oh, I gotta make it, I gotta make it. Don't think about that. Just think about, this is my moment, I'm here, be present. Just be present in the moment and soak up every bit of knowledge you can while you're there. And then overall, just have fun, you guys. It's actually a great experience, no matter how far or how short you make it into the voice journey. Um, you guys can always try again every year, every season. They're always looking for new artists. And a lot of people get turned away on their first try and they come back and they do great. So. Just keep trying, keep working at it, keep growing and strengthening your skill because you never know what's gonna happen. I never ever thought I'd be in this position. So honestly, anything is possible, you guys. Um, and if the voice isn't your dream, there's obviously something else out there for you. I just wanna let you guys know that you can do it and you can go for it. And you might fail at first, but you have to keep trying because if everyone stopped on their first fail, literally nothing would ever be done in this world. <laughs> um, I don't know why I got super sappy and cheesy. Anyway, but it was all genuine and I hope you uh, took some of that to heart. Don't be afraid, it's okay to be a little bit out of your comfort zone because that's how you get better. Also, everyone I've met from The Voice crew to all the other contestants, I've literally never met anyone that's been rude or unkind to me, so just be open because everyone else is really great and they want you to have a great experience too. So that's pretty much it. That's my advice. Um, I hope this helped at least one of you guys out. I know these kinds of videos helped me out when I was um, first starting to audition. And just go out there and be yourself, you guys. I'll see you next Thursday. Until then, have a wonderful day. I'm Marvelous tomorrow. See you next time. Bye.